KSI. KSI. So this OG YouTuber has completely lost his mind. Uh, we're talking like grade A mental asylum falonky bonks. That's the best way to describe the situation, and I think I smashed it. And this is the kind of YouTuber that if he does something wrong, any sort of controversy he gets into, he instantly claims mental health problems. It's like he accidentally runs over the next door neighbor's cat in his Lamborghini, and he's like, sorry, but <laughs> I've got depression. And that YouTuber we're talking about is a guy called Tube, the Tupac of YouTube. Now, Fousey's now been arrested for doing the craziest things possible that you can't even imagine. <laughs> So I wanted to start off with that clip, which is Fousey Two, drunk as a skunk, driving in a Lamborghini, passed out listening to Eminem. I know. <laughs> I mean, he's lucky he didn't kill someone. And here's the thing with Fousey Two, about a month ago, he was all religious. He was talking about God and, you know, doing the right thing. And then as soon as he gains some attention, he turns into an absolute nutter. Yes, thank you, God. I will always be one of your disciples until I become a viral hit again, and then I become a god. So that's the mentality Fousey's running with right now. But get this right, he calls himself the Tupac of YouTube. But here's the thing, he went viral from uh, making pranks, fake pranks, like the cheesiest pranks you can think of, like picking up girls in Miami. <laughs> Yet he talks like he owns YouTube, and the problems always start when he becomes a viral hit again. So I wanted to show you this clip of him uh, in some sort of mall. Ace just lost his mind, check this out. What? Okay, somebody leave me. Look what's happening right now. This guy's trying to go viral off my name. <laughs> Fousey tube. Come on, pal. Seriously? <laughs> this guy's trying to go viral off my name. Fucking donkey. Fuck off. <laughs> Fousey, I thought being religious was all about being kind to others and sharing love and sharing what you have. This guy's trying to go viral off my name. Why does this guy think that he's like this huge hit? This guy thinks that he's like completely taken over the internet and people are trying to go viral off his name. Like, he's that insecure. And that's a big thing about this. He's insecure like crazy. And you're going to see a lot of that throughout this video. Get the fuck away! Oh my god. Oh, you should have stepped in and protected me. What the fuck? He's trying to go viral off my name. He's asking me about July 15th and Keem. Shit, man! You gotta help protect my image! <laughs> this guy! What's going on? This is just the start as well. This is just him acting crazy just in public. I'm bad. I'm like Kanye. I lose my mind. <laughs> Fousey, meet my good friend, Labrou. <laughs> what? He's French. And my little friend here is gonna sweep you into the garbage pile. Because you are trash. Oh the burn is awesome. I love it. LeBroom! First of all, I'm bad. I'm like Kanye. <laughs> he says it like it's a flex. But guys, I just understand that no one's ruining Fousey's image. He is literally doing that for himself. Like, he's destroying himself. He's destroying his whole reputation. And I just love the whole, <laughs> I'm bad. I'm like Kanye. <laughs> like, it is a flex, you know, mental health. Like, it's a big flex, you know. And it gets worse, you know, it's not justified. So check this out. Fuck you guys don't understand that. I have mental problems. I need help. So go and get help! Fousey, just go and get help, for Christ's sake. And I'm telling you, every time there's an issue, this guy will always show up and be like, yeah, yeah, mental health problems. I, it's not my fault. Dude is taking the word embarrassment to a new level. If I saw this when I was in the mall, fuck, I'd drop my melted ice cream cone and say, what the fuck's going on with him? Oh, 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 Peter, 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 Peter. What did I just say in there? You I'm let me leave. This is what I'm trying to say. All the people around him are just yes men. Like this guy just got up on top of a fence, which I'm pretty sure uh, was only a two meter drop. He's like, ah, I'm gonna throw myself off this and kill myself. Yeah, that's not the way to do it, pal. You need to find something a lot higher than that, but don't kill yourself, obviously. I also feel like he just got up on there just for attention. Cause you can see like, <laughs> he got up there, stood there for like a split second. I was like, <sighs> waiting for people like, come on guys, stop me. I want the attention. Just grab me guys, pull me down from the show you care about me. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen! Please! What are you doing in that moment? No, Mom, I don't want vegetables! I want chicken nuggets! Dude, why are you acting like such a man-child for? Fousey is an overgrown three-year-old child. That's what I've discovered. The way he just ran off like that, 
Can he not just feel like it's all for attention? Like he wants people to chase him. Why be such a puss for Fousey? I thought you meant to be like this big muscular dude. <laughs> now he does get in big trouble because he starts being crazy and starts threatening people about killing them. So we're gonna get into that, okay? Let's talk about a couple of days ago. Check this shit out. I smoked laced weed tonight. I had a manic episode. I cussed out everyone. I sent a message to Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate. I broke my veneer. I don't have a tooth in my mouth right now. I haven't slept. I haven't eaten. I've called him six times. It's 9.30 a.m. for him and he's still asleep. Ah, classic Fousey. Doesn't take responsibility. Blames his manager for everything that's happened. Well, I got some advice for you, Fousey. Why don't you just uh, run along, back up into your mother's meat sleeve, and do a bit of self-discovering. And during him being high, he messaged Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate. Yeah, like they were gonna respond to a beta male like you. Oh, I'm sorry, Fousey. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings by calling you a beta male. I'm the beta male, Fousey. You're the alpha. <laughs> The Alpha, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the next part was pretty interesting. Now, before I do go on to say, there was a clip, like, from a few months ago, or, like, a couple of weeks ago, when Fousey was sat at the table. Basically, this other fan came over. You know, wanted to take a picture with him and everything, and he was like, no, no, I'm sorry, but I'm about privacy. You know, this is, like, a private meeting. I don't want to talk to any fans. Like, I like my privacy. If that's true, Fousey, why did you dox yourself? <laughs> Man doxed himself, you know. He loves privacy. That's like saying you love little adorable animals, but then shooting your dog in the back of the head with an M16 carbine rifle. <laughs> so what's happening in this next clip? Well, he's on the phone to an actual doxer who hasn't doxed Fousey, but knows where he is. Basically, this doxer is just trolling Fousey, and uh, yeah, that's right, you guessed it. Uh, the doxer called him a couple of names, which, you know, never goes well in security and all. What'd you say? Yo, I'm Gamble. I'm the guy that was calling your mom and, and sister and brother and shit. I think one of your fucking faggot friends got me banned on kick. Can you hear me, buddy? You know we have your address, we have your number, we have everything. Oh, you like doxing too. Hey, I know where you are right now and I live here, buddy. Come over here, bitch. I swear to God, I'll kill you. I swear to God, you pull up to my house right now, I'll stick a knife 10, uh, 10 feet in your fucking throat. I literally fucking slice it down to your penis and chop it off. Yes, this is a goddamn threat, bitch. I'll kill you if you come up to me. So, Fousey said to this doc, so that he's gonna stab him with a 10 inch blade and then chop his penis off. You're gonna touch his penis, Fousey? Oh, that's not very alpha. You wanna touch his penis, Fousey? You might be bigger than me, Fousey, but you don't have my confidence. <laughs> so let me get this straight. This guy went from being religious, peaceful, and humble, then had some views on his live stream, and now he's threatening to slice people's cocks off. Great character development, I must say. But that's when, ladies and gentlemen, Fousey decided to make a police report that the doctor was trying to kill him and that his life is in danger. Let's check this clip out. Intercontinental Miami. I'm in the inter-fucking continental! No, no, give me the phone, man. Give me the phone. You gotta calm down. Bro. No, dog! Sit down and calm down. Relax. I'm gonna- Oh, the because a guy told me I'm gonna relax. die tonight. You want me to relax? Yo, sit down and let me give her- Send the fucking cops. I have to ask the Send the cops. They're able to help you. I'm not gonna argue- There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, Intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, tell me. 2027. But let's just unpack this, okay? Fousey just told the police, okay, that he's in a hotel. His life is in danger. There is a gun to his head. There is a man with a gun inside the hotel about to kill him with hundreds of people staying in that hotel. You're lucky you didn't get swatted, mate. And he docks himself on live stream as well. Yo, I'm, li I'm in the Continental, by the way, guys, and uh, my room number's blah, blah, blah. Congratulations, Fousey. So much for privacy. You just doxed yourself, loser. But, and the best part is the police turn up and they try to help him, but Fousey calls the cops dumb as fuck. <laughs> of course, Fousey's the best, all right? Fousey's the greatest man. The man, the man himself is a god, all right? I literally told him if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck. He gave me his address. Okay, how does he know where you're staying at? I don't, he's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't, don't know fucking know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he's I at? have his address! Where's his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago! Yeah. 
You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Fuji's real side came out. You see how he's like piping up and shouting really loudly and as soon as the police officer started walking over to him. You are a beta male, Fuzi. Admit it. You're just hiding it over this facade that I'm an alpha. Alpha means scream loudly and be louder than everyone else, of course. I mean, everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Hey, record this. Security! Come in here now! Yo, for my protection, come in here! I can't come inside. He can't come in? Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're fucked. Hey! <laughs> oh my days. It's just proving my point at this point. You're arresting a Palestinian Muslim who's viral. Emphasis on the viral, by the way. Yo, you can't arrest me. I'm viral. You are fucked. I'm suing you. You're in so much trouble now. You're arresting someone who's viral. He threatens to sue the cops and asks them if they like their jobs. As in, like, do you like your job? Because you're about to lose it, because you've just arrested a viral hit, okay? It's like a vague threat that he's throwing. Like, he can move some pieces and make the cops lose their jobs. I got news for you, Fuzi. You aren't the mafia who have the cops on their payroll, okay? You don't control the police, alright? <laughs> you are a YouTube prankster who used to fake pranks. Dude, you're cringe. I can't wait to see what he does next, to be honest. This guy is completely just... Melting down, he needs to go and see somebody and get help. But I also want to ask you guys, do you know who FuzzyTube is? Just let me know in the comments, like, do you remember when he was a viral hit piece? So with that said, guys, subscribe. I want to reach 100k by the end of the year, if it's possible. But, uh, leave a like and, uh, comment down below and I'll reply. Love you guys. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.